Okay, well, while he's, uh, while he's coming back, it's going to be pretty straightforward today. We're going to practice two things primarily. Uh, we're going to practice, uh, we're going to very briefly go over the helo casting procedure. Um, we're going to fly to the EAO. We're going to do some uh, LZ landings in close proximity to the enemy um, and try not to get shot down, and that's it. Um, so you can probably see to the south, you see uh, all the markings to the south. Yeah. Okay. So first things first, we're gonna get going. Um, just to, I was gonna have you guys run a couple of laps around Red Route, but considering we're running behind, that's not gonna be a, not gonna be possible. We're gonna come south. We're gonna conduct a helo cast in this area. Um, I'll give you the parameters on it. You guys are gonna select where you want to drop. Um, from there, we're gonna go to LZ Red, LZ Blue, and then LZ Green. And if we have time, we're gonna try to sneak into LZ Gold, which is surrounded by hostiles. If we have time, and then we'll RTB and, and Dex. I will not be. Will you, I will not be around for the um, the operation tonight. Uh, I want you to co-pilot for someone. Um, what else? What What do you need in regards to your SPPs? Uh, speaking of the SPPs, I was going to ask you. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking on the forums for how to complete Phase Three. I, I honestly have no you idea I. what you, what to do for are, SPP. Are you are you are you done with Phase Two? Yes, I'm done with okay, Phase Two. Okay, I didn't know that. It's you and I now. So so, block some time out with me sometime during the week, and we'll go over your Phase Three SPPs. Copy that. All right, Bruce. Today we're going to be working on two things. I would I wanted to give you guys a couple laps around Red Route to um, uh, to practice, but or to warm up, but that's not going to happen because we're running behind. We're going to proceed south. We're going to do a helo casting in this area. We're going to hit LZ Red, LZ Blue, LZ Green, and if we have time, we'll hit LZ Gold. Um, the objective of today is to operate uh, with LZ in tight LZ procedures in close proximity to the enemy. Um, now, to mop the helo casting down here, Front, you guys are going to select the drop point. However, GC has stated they want to be between one and two kilometers from all three of their LCs. Where's going to be the drop point? So go ahead and go ahead and make a mark on your map and consider that your your drop zone for your helo kids. Okay, it's a little bit close. Well, that's close. Between one and two kilometers from the drop points. I'd push that out by another like two or three hundred meters, but that's up to you. That looks anywhere around that area is fine. Because it's remarkably similar to what MSOP's gonna be asking for tonight. But okay. Alright. Yeah, let's lift and uh, get over there and get our uh, get some get some skids on deck. Warner, you need dual hours. I'm gonna fly as your CP. Uh, this is three four to three one on nine five. What are your current intentions? Four two one going to be air dropping this uh, supplies onto break. Not that I get Copy on grid one zero one zero three niner. All right, let me know when the head out. What? Well, what were you guys doing on the deck? You know the plan. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Settling you know back plan? up on you. Time now. Gunfighter one two spooling up for departure on active runway three six. In the future, 
Um, try to show up at least five minutes in advance to train. Three, four, turn off yeah, nine up two yeah, and switch sure. back to. I know, eight. I know you, I know you, I know you thought your mods were updated. Just check them beforehand. Yeah, I like I we only get last night, two but I guess eight eight that's fine. Acre didn't do it. I figured it'd be a problem with Acre out of all that's things. That's alright. I mean, we just don't so get a lot of time. Side. We just don't get a lot of time yeah. together. So I'd like to make the most of it. I'll get on top of that next it's time. All good. All good. Don't worry. We had a we had a update. All right. Let him get out first. I guess not. Line advanced. Uh, negative. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. All right, no, I see the pivot. Okay. We'll make sure to back for point six. I got clear left. Okay, clear right. Want you taking it runway? Archer, one right, three six. One two, clear three six. Is Bruce calling uh, his own radio? Uh, is Bruce calling the uh, make the call outs? I'm not on nine or two. Uh, he's making his own call. Okay, what's his call sign? One. Oh. One. Uh, I'm unaware. Okay, that's fine. One, two, clear back to bear space, signing off on nine or two. Bruce is one one. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Uh, Got fighter one one, center on nine five. You on nine five as well? Uh, yeah, I'm signing in right okay. now. One two signing in on nine five. Okay. One 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 two, can you hear me nine five? Hey, firm. Cool. Challenge mode today. Uh, try to avoid using shift click markers. We don't have them enabled uh, in the operation server, so uh, let's try to get used to them in training. Uh, if you need them, put them put them down. But for now, try to operate without them. Roger. That's this will be. Ooh. That'll be fun. I didn't know they weren't allowed in the operation. Oh no, it's they're they're just disabled. Yeah. They're just they're just. I mean, I, I I've seen no SOP to say that they're. They're not allowed, but apparently they're not allowed. So whatever. Whatever. The benefits of having a JTAC on the ground. Hey, uh, one one. Send it. Can you explain to 1-2 the uh, standard operating procedure for a helocast? Roger. Does he know it? He, he should. one two, you on 9 or 5? This is one two, a firm. Roger that. Uh, be advised about three clicks out. You're going to call uh, red light for your troops. Uh, once you come in low over the DZ, you're going to reduce your speed to uh, about 20 K, uh, kmh. Get down to about 10 meters off the deck. 
and uh, call green light. Maintain your uh, forward momentum at about uh, 20 and uh, keep on trucking until they've all jumped out. Once they've all gotten out, uh, go ahead and egress the area. One, two copies. Good overview. So yeah, uh, the purpose of a helo cast is to drop in troops, uh, essentially, is to drop them in feet wet into an extremely hostile area. Um, this, like, if we're infiltrating MSOT into a hostile continent, if we're trying to drop GC, uh, there's there's actually, we've never helo cast GC before, but if we're dropping MSOT into, like, an area where it's extremely hostile, we would use a helo cast. Um, because it leaves no trace that we've been there. There's no, there's no dust cloud that the enemy can look for. There's no like foliage knocked over. There's no local residents that can call them and say, "Hey, listen, there's a, uh, there's a helicopter landing in in my backyard." No, n nothing like that. Yeah. But yeah. So he's right. Uh, about three kilometers out from the from the from the DZ, you announce red light. Uh, this is uh, this means the, end, uh, the I'm sorry. This means your passengers need to shut the hell up and let you do your job. Uh, during this time, you will survey the LZ um, or the DZ and uh, give it your final approval. Is it safe to go or is it not safe to go? If it's not safe to go, wave off and uh, approach it a different way. But if it is safe to go, then go ahead. Um, what else? The one I'm ready for them. The jet pass, say green light. Yeah, yeah. So you want to get your Altitude below 10 meters above the water, because jumping at any higher than that is kind of, uh, you're risking an injury. Um, and you want to drop your speed to below 20 kmh. But you want to maintain forward momentum. That's the key. If you if you just have side to side momentum, there's a chance that you're gonna, that you, the helicopter, are gonna bump into them as they jump out. So you want to maintain forward momentum as you're dropping them. Once they're all out, Understood. yeah. Once they're all out, the last man should call last man, and then you egress the area. The key here is to come in nap of earth once you declare red light. That's the key, because that basically means you're putting yourself in the danger zone, and you want to be really low and really fast whenever you do that. That also means that whenever you reach the DZ, you're gonna have to bleed a lot of speed, a lot, a lot of speed. So, right. those are the nuances. When I put, it. when I look at the map, it shows me where I am. Is that gonna be there in the operation? Yeah, too? yeah, that'll that'll be there. Okay. When do you call a red light? How far out are you without using shift click markers? Pretty, pretty close. Uh, red light. Okay. GC is shutting up in the back. You're assessing the situation through your FLIR. You're asking your co-pilot to do the same. That's what you say to your co-pilot. Uh, that's requesting to, to see if he sees anything. Tell him, tell him, like tell him to look through his fleer. Tell him, tell him to let you know if he sees anything. Yeah. Ask him if the area looks safe. So your co-pilot doesn't see anything. Understood. Like we'll go through. Green light, green light. All right, two men out, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, two men out, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, two men out, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, two men out. Last two men out. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Yep. I was 
That was too hard to turn. Just nobody said that nobody said they were ingressing each other's area. That's all. Okay, let's shift to uh, let's shift to the LZ. So let's start with LZ Red. Uh, buddy up with flight of two and come in for each of these. Just a clarification: you do not have to remain on the deck until the other guy gets down. You can do it one at a time. Come on. There's one, two, I have eyes on you. Alright, my pen doesn't seem to work. Okay, cool. There we go, much better. Do you hear him over 9 or 5? Uh, I Interrogative, this is uh, LZ cold or hot? The locations of the hostels have been marked on the map. Uh, oh, given shit. that, the, uh, the LZs could be uh, cold or hot depending on their proximity. And depending on how you approach them. If you approach them correctly, they should be cold. Uh, sure. Is the, uh, is the LZ marker deleted for you? Yeah, yeah, it is. That's my fault. I put a, that's all right. a marker on out of habit, that's, and then I tried to leave. That's all right. We're good. To leave that to you. Once you set it up on you on your uh, left, or for the LZ disappeared. I got it. Hang on. Act way over speed. <laughs> and a fucking hot mic again. Nice. Uh, you're uh, on uh, global I, sure. I know. <laughs> I have it disabled. I don't know why I keep something. One one's inbound to the LCE. Disabled for Trinity, 3-4 has wheels on the deck at detachment parking, spooling down. One one skits down. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five. One one lifting. Hey! One two skits down. Alright, so let me quickly say this. Don't ever exit the runway from that alpha one lifting. again. That it's very clear that these here. See what I'm looking at? Yeah. These are entrances to the runway, not exits. They never have been exits. Don't ever exit these. These. The one in the middle here are exits of what the, those you can exit from, not these. These here are entrances. Well, that was textbook. To the runway. I'm sorry about that. I was just and following don't the... ever fly, and don't fly over the monkey, over his, don't fly over aircraft. Yeah, honestly, this, I was just following case, the new thing that they, you know. So, no, no, you, that doesn't matter. You cannot Once enter. You, understand those you cannot exit the runway from those two and. It, One two copies. Those, those also, right. One two saddled up on and you to your starboard the, over. Pattern doesn't matter. The new Roger, stuff doesn't matter. You cannot pass over I, uh, aircraft LZ either. Blue. In this case, what you should have done. In this case, is done this. Gone down and. Yes, you, you should these. have done here first. Like, if right. you've done this, you should have done this then. Yeah. Don't fly over the monk. That's not allowed. So it's set. All right. Good, good landing though. Yep. I was just following the new flight plan, one, one saying that Bravo is our new taxiway.
the rock. <laughs> Get down. Thanks for the pickup. Is he waiting to come in? Uh, he's the negative. Is everybody happy? Okay. He's right hey, now. switch the packs and intercom. Copy that. That way, that way. We, we don't have a, we don't have a, you're not on the crew intercom anymore. You don't have ability to get on it. I don't know why they removed that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, he did it. <laughs> one down. Shit, one. All right, cool. I like that LZ. Let's uh put a marker in that. Like, go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and on the move on to green. Take now. What'd you think of that LZ? Pretty fun. Good. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, a little bit straight, a little bit stressful. I mean, you're coming in through that bay, and the first thing you see is that that goddamn rock on your way. Yeah, a little bit, especially since I was coming in fast. Yeah, I know. We're gonna we're gonna run that more than once in the future, so All right. get used to seeing that puppy. Let's work on that landing too. Green's gonna be a little bit hairy. If you pick your altitude too much, you'll get painted. Keep it too low, and you'll you'll become part of a tree. So an important note on operating with uh, without shift click markers is uh, how best to judge your distance to the LZ. Um, before you, when you're having a look at the LZ in your map, pick a pick a pick a landmark or a location that's like uh, a, a, an equal distance from the LZ. Like pick a landmark at one kilometer, pick a landmark at 500 meters, pick a landmark at, at two kilometers or something like that. Mark it on your map if you want uh, with a regular marker, or just just keep your eyes open for it. Gunfighter 1 2, interrogative to 1 1. Uh, do you want to lead this one or not? Over. No, you can have it. Yeah, no, you're doing good. 1 2 copies. You're doing good. Gotta figure out a way in there. So while we're ingressing to the area, I will tell you that there are power lines about 1 kilometer to the east of the LZ. And it's really close to 1 kilometer exactly. Identify those and you can use those as a, land as a landmark. You're drifting right, or I'm sorry, you're drifting left. Just didn't want to hit, you. didn't want you to hit, hit something. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. So this LZ we're going to. Uh, it's not a very open LZ. Um, it runs from north to south. You're coming in from east to west. What do you think uh, we should do whenever we get there? Oh, did you see that over the radio? Or is Land. It, um, or it, um... Smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> Landing would indeed be the correct answer. But, what, what the fuck have we been practicing for the past, you know, couple dozen trainings? Woo-hoo-hoo! 
Hard to look at the map and do this. That's that's the problem. Yeah, and that's and that's, and that's where the landmarks come oh, into okay. yeah, that's where the landmarks come into play. I just put on my night machine goggles for a moment there. One, two, skip down. Bruce has the I idea. The fire. Bruce has the idea. All right, good. Oh, uh, I see. All right, good one, one work. Down. Good, good work. All right, what do you say? You want to try LZ Gold? Sure. <laughs> what do you think, Warner? You want to try LZ Gold? Absolutely. Okay, well, that's a yes from over in this bird. Uh, yeah, go ahead and um, plot out how you want to get there and go ahead and execute that shit. One one, you got any uh, specific things in mind for this one? Yeah, the only way I'm really seeing is to uh, come around feet wet through La Revere and come in from the west. Low and fast. Breed, that doesn't uh, look too bad for me. I don't think you've spooked the AA yet. I think they're still just moseying around. Uh, one, two, uh, I... Huh. <laughs> well, good reaction time out of both of you. That does look pretty. Well, <laughs> I'm 
Oh no, Bruce. Oh no. Wait, it's pretty high up. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the AI, AI doesn't see it. One, two, this one, one. I'm going to climb and uh, see if I can get eyes on that LZ. There's one, two. Copy that. be appropriate for me to go up there and join him in that? Or it's, um, it's up to you. You're the aircraft commander. Alright. I want to use the thermals for myself. Uh. I like the look of that. <laughs> one one, just get shot at by a missile. One two, same here, over. Oh, did you get radar too? That thing, that thing came in here so fast. Uh, yeah, those are those high. I don't even know how. That's them high speed. Uh, that's them high speed uh, one missiles. Getting, or one one's getting locked. One, two copies. I need to pick up some damn speed. That's what I'm where that came from, one, two. Hmm. Uh, this is one, two, off to my port side. Other than that, I don't know. Roger that. Infection starboard. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Turning inbound for La Riviera. Go get them, guys. Go get them. One, two, settled up on your port side. Moving in with you. Gunfighter one flight. Whenever you uh, complete the cells, you can go ahead and RTB. One, two, I'm getting something on the sensor direct front. Not sure what it is. I really have this much speed. One, one, I'm not seeing it. Let me know if anything changes. Hey, Roger, it's about three clicks out. Yeah, sure, if you can, just scan around. Yeah, I'm looking for it. I can't see it. Yeah. Yeah, nothing on that beach. I see those two radar contacts bearing 350. Uh, ground vehicle some type. Yeah, one one's gonna pop over the town and break east. Copies. We're low flying for this one, at least for our speed. That's not reassuring.
I didn't see what happened. Oh shit. I didn't see what happened. My game alt tapped on me. I think you just uh, screwed up on your crash into something. Oof. That's definitely no good. Okay. No. What's the thing next to it, Celsius Gold? Okay. One, two, skip down. All GC's out. Good work. RTB. You got in. Now can you get out? One, two, take an half. One in doubt. Just come out the same way you came in. <laughs> you got the hang of that. That's good. So whenever you get out of here, just go ahead and RTB. Once you're clear of the area, I'll just delete everything. Copy that. Okay, you're clear of the area. I'm gonna go ahead and start removing shit. Start moving shit. Alrighty. Alright, go ahead and just RTB. Alrighty. Well, I suppose I should keep those down there. I gotta debrief them. You can just beeline it straight to the airbase. Uh, everything's I everything's understood. gone.
cars take off. He's taking off with a full load. Holy shit. Oh shit. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna sure. Does the air pattern go all the way out to here? Mm hmm. Up to, uh, to, up to one kilometer away from the air base. Uh, and that's pretty spot on to one kilometer exactly, actually. And that would be, uh, my bad. That's okay. That's all good. Six Oscar sign now, nine or five. One, two, entering the pattern on the downwind. Turning for base. One, two, coming in for final. Very controlled pattern. Extremely controlled pattern. Well done. However, I did. I forgot to mention uh, that this was one way three six. Ah, uh, it's. I just remember to do it next time. The flying yeah. is good. Radio calls can. Everyone can work on radio calls. to taxing through break A4 to B to HMLA Park. You should you should call them Alpha and Bravo. Alpha Bravo? Got yeah. it. Yeah, so that's, that's what real pilots call them. Why well, I didn't do that. I don't worry about it. Probably heard somebody else do it. Oh, whenever you get back and uh, touchdown, consider that an hour of uh, an hour of dual time. Copy that. Because you probably you probably need some dual hours yet. We'll we'll talk about phase three too. Yeah. Jeffrey's waved to you. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I, I don't even know what my key findings are for that.
Good landing. One, two, skids on the deck, HMLA Park is pulling down. Superb flying, Warner. Really, really impressed. Good job. Thank you. Okay, Gunfighter 1 flight here, right? Bruce! Yep. You're here? Okay. Alright, cool. Let's debrief real quick. Alright, so what do we do? We practice some uh, helo casting. The living Ow. shit? What the fuck? Like, okay. car. All right, whatever. Yeah. They'll come back. Uh, anyway, we practiced uh, helo casting. Ground. We practiced uh, nap of Earth flight, uh, some confined space landings, some out of trim flight. Uh, I was expecting, I was, I was really hoping you guys would come into LZ Red and kind of land sideways. I don't know if you did. I actually didn't get to see that. Um, but uh, Bruce, you got it. Whenever you came into LZ Green, you pivoted and, and you landed with your nose point facing north, which is good. Um, Good L, uh, good helo cast. Uh, that's what that's what MSOT's expecting us to do tonight. Um, what else did we do? Um, uh, sorry, I didn't get to see LZ Red. I'm certain it went well. I heard Bruce say that it was textbook, so that's good. Um, I did watch LZ Blue. Great job. Uh, what I did notice uh, is when you came in from the south or the or from this direction, you had that cacking great rock there right in front of you as you turned in, and you had to kind of burn around that. I was just curious, what, what would happen if you came in like this? You wouldn't, um... Come on. Where you would just be nicer. Yeah, you wouldn't hit that. Uh, you wouldn't hit that rock, and you would have transited the area. You would have pulled left, and it landed. Just something, just something to bear in mind. I mean, there's something to be said. The only, mm -hmm. the only difference that I that Wilson? I would see in that is that is this my stuff? by coming in from the what? south, anything that's over here you will be more surprised. Yeah. Whereas if you yeah, make a long run in, in, they'll see it coming. They're going to see you what coming from you, way off. Yep. Which one's, which one's easier to fly? Sundays. We just vote on Sundays. Coming straight in, of yeah. course. What's yeah, right? but which one's better in a combat the situation? The probably probably the one, probably the one that you guys went yeah, through. Yeah. yeah. So, just something to think about. No, good stuff yeah, landing at that LZ. You got <laughs> Bruce came close to a tail strike. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Put stuff in there. Uh, originally, LZ Red right was here. supposed to be uh, up here, okay. but I had taken I this wall out of that compound when I was practicing it myself. Targets. So, um, oh, yeah, that yeah, would have so been too know. easy. No, good work there. Um, you guys backed oh, off, came fine. into LZ you Green. Didn't, didn't know what you um, I, I didn't know that when you came in, uh, you guys came in on the you south part of it. I should have put it like up here in the northern part so to force you guys to land sideways. Bruce, you definitely got the idea there. Good job. Warner, where you put down, just as fine. I mean, you still um, managed to get skids on deck. You weren't confined. Good work. Train, when you approached the LZ, you, you were you were kind of st uh, stupid low, which I I can definitely appreciate. But that meant it did take a while that getting there. Um, but you guys got there in the end and snuck up on that LZ and, and yeah, put down I just mean, as just as just as well. Nap and is fine in that in that case. Um, you guys are really trying to sneak in low and low and uh, low and slow. Um, but considering the hostels were would still be in defile from you, I mean this guy, this guy couldn't even yeah. see you. I mean there's uh, there's a great big clip there. He couldn't even see it from there. Um, and these guys, this guy's in defile. This guy's almost in defile from me. And this guy's, I don't know what his problem is. Um, no, but you guys got in there. You guys got in just fine. See, yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah. yeah. You guys got in just fine, uh, and you got out. Just something to consider in the future. We backed out and came into LZ Gold. You guys came in exactly the way that I would have uh, over the town of. Uh, La Riviere, come the up over this, is, uh, over this shit, follow I mean, the power line sure. up to the road, break the off, and land at the LZ. The um, I didn't see what happened with you, Bruce. My game alt tab. What happened? Better how to bird strike. <laughs> <the target. laughs> um, well, like we'll, we'll call it that. Bird strike. Um, but really, what happened? But uh, like, if you, I got an idea. Uh, I was stupid low, oh. and I was watching my rotor because it was like one of those tall, skinny trees, real close. Mm -hmm. And while I was trying to make sure I didn't hit that, my, one of my skids okay. caught one of the fucking other trees and Ooh. just slammed me into the ground. Ooh, that's not good. Well, all right. Yeah, just some, just, just more awareness of, of an aircraft is good. I mean, uh, going that low, that's uh, going that low is always risky. Yeah. Um, especially yes. since right here was a uh, Tigris like a and a uh, REA or an ARIA launcher. USS. What was what was yeah. in Rivera? Yeah, what was in Rivera? Nothing. Nothing was here. USS Volusia, I had a USS fucking 
sensor indication like right yeah. in the town. I don't know what to tell you. There was nothing there. Uh, you're probably picking up these guys yeah, up north. I no, I mean like literally, like town. as I flew over yeah, the town, I, I flew yeah. over it on my sensor. I don't know what to tell you, Bruce. There was nothing there in Zeus. You the X Files thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Phantom yeah, Radar contact. I think it was uh somebody else. I'm put down maybe. Down maybe. Down I don't know. I I do know that the the, 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 the our aircraft are technically stuff. technically speaking in Zeus, our aircraft are, are like two different components. There's the there's the fries the and then there's the aircraft itself. Oh, you might have been seeing the fries. The I I don't I don't know what else it could have been. But um, uh, at these two locations, you had radar dishes. Uh -huh. They were synced up to this Which, launcher back here. And the, what's up? What, is that what shot at us? Yeah, that's what shot at you. Um, what, you what's interesting was, it, it, just, like just bear in mind, that, that back launcher back there has I'm four four tubes. It, it only fired one, and on. you both got you both got um, radar locked. Here's why. Okay. When that rocket leaves a tube, Can't its seeker the warhead is pointed in a cone in your direction. So since you guys were close together... You guys both received the radar. No, no. You both received um, uh, air weapon, air weapon oh, radar. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, air no. air weapon search radars on your sensors, and you both and you both evaded. Um, even though it was only locked to one of you, but no, good work. You guys evaded it. You didn't get shot down by it, which is good. Um, in each of these towns was one air defense team. They didn't even know you were there. Um, extremely good flying from from you, Warner. Nice and low when you got when you got here. I know a couple of less experienced pilots would have put down here because it's the easier LZ and they would want to get down immediately, but you said, nope, that's not where they're putting down. You put down exactly at LZ Gold. A um, couple notes. Uh, radio comms were a problem whenever you did helo casting, um, but after that, they, didn't, they, they weren't a problem until you hit LZ Green again. Um, especially when you're operating together. Um, if, 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 you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you have the same tasking as another aircraft, talk to them on the radio. Be the guy to step up and say, hey, listen, I'm, I'm taking lead. Or, Sorry, hey, how you want to do this? Uh, or, hey, I'm coming in on your six. Or, hey, that looks like a really tight LZ. So I'll follow you in. We'll see how it works. Well, do you know there's another way to um, that, you know, And shift click markers. How a, did you guys use them at all? Yeah, if, 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 if not, how, how are you guys finding that? Is it more difficult? Is it just more time to use it in the editor? It's really the, we had a slide though. I mean, based off of, like the locations of our LZs and everything, there were, it was very easy to identify them because it just. The geography. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So same here. Good. Was, yeah. I mean, if it, you know, if it would have been a fucking LZ out in the middle of the desert, That's, then it would have uh, been a be shit watching on the GPS and basically look for the markers. Right. I'll use this. And that's a good way to adapt to the lack of shift click markers. Put some put some markers on the map, on, on just your group chat, and then watch your GPS as you come in. Um, that's that's exactly how I fly flight pa flight plans and operations. If you see me fly those, so that's that's always something to do. Um, we'll work on LZ identification from the air in later trainings, but I just want you guys to get a taste of it today. Um, if, you, if you had to use shift click, click markers today, that's fine, because um, that wasn't the focus of the training. It, it was just challenge mode, that's all. I hope you guys did good. Um, any questions, comments, concerns for the whole training? Uh, I'll take that as a note. Uh, yeah, and without uh, further ado, um, last comment. Let's just be on be on time this time that's all like at, at, at 1500 cst exactly but that's for next time all right guys uh i will not be at the train i'm sorry i will not be at the operation tonight good luck to you both um if you need anything um hit me up on discord or text me you both have my mobile number i think originally you wanted but I think it'll go well. You guys were training on Saturdays. I think it'll go well. You guys will kick ass, as normal. We were Sundays, then we changed it to Saturdays to avoid this very thing right here. You guys are dismissed. And Warner, if you want to change your uniform to look like to look like badass Bruce over there, you can do that. It looks really cool. Alrighty. Realism. Yeah, that's right. Change it to a different time, or would that not work for everybody? That would have to be put in a vote. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Wilson for a bit. Good night, guys.